How's it going everybody? Nathaniel from RC Insight here and today I am back with another LEGO news video for you guys. Thank you once again to 1414 Falcon Fan for posting all these sets as soon as they have been revealed anywhere. Uh, this is a big reveals night it seems. This is probably going to be my third or fourth video of the night so if you're interested go check out those other ones because there's a lot to talk about but in this video we are talking about the new summer 2022 Ninjago sets that have been revealed and I want to just be very clear that these are not all the Ninjago sets. There are four sets that have been revealed so far. I think the Summer Wave had nine or ten sets so there is more to come but we're going to take a look at what we have so far so the first one here is zane's golden dragon so apparently this set is going to be 258 pieces and uh, 30 dollars in the united states and this is the final look of the product and honestly this is a really really cool set um, I'm usually not super big on the Ninjago vehicles with some exceptions. The Boulder Blaster is one of my favorites, but this is a really cool, cool set. Uh, and also this, uh, Golden Zane minifigure up here. I think that's what this is or some Dragon Zane. It's a cool figure. I don't know this. This seems to be a very interesting upcoming season. And we have our first look at our new, uh, enemy figures as well, which also appear to be flying. They've got the crystal, uh, our crystal guys, I guess is what we'll call them. Uh, really nice box art here as well. I'm really loving the vibe of all this, uh, this just this new season, I believe it's season 20 now aesthetic uh looks really cool and the gold here really nice usage of some parts that i don't know we've seen in gold before but just the jet design how it's like broken into two stages uh the use of the the blue white and gold all mixed together i just think this is a really really nice looking set with a, a quite a good price point as well um I don't really know what more to say about it, honestly. I, I This is one of my favorite Ninjago sets in a very long time, and I am super excited to get my hands on it. Like, the minifigures here are awesome. The build is awesome. It's a good price. So I would say, what is not to like about this set? Then we have the Crystal King Temple set. Now, this set is the $80 set according to the previous set list and is going to have 703 pieces. So a pretty good price point on this one as well. And again, just what an absolutely gorgeous build. Uh, it, it kind of almost looks like it uses Tensegrity. It obviously doesn't, but uh, the way it just has that floating islands feel is awesome. We have a ton of minifigures here, including uh, a very evil Garmadon-like figure. Maybe it is Garmadon. I don't know, but whatever it is uh you got two crystal enemies here uh the crystal king is presumably the one up at the top there and just all of these purple crystal pieces the stairs the rocks again like this is my favorite ninjago wave in a very very long time um Oh, it's just such a cool build. It's so different. It is so different from anything we have ever really seen before from LEGO period. Uh, the broken staircase, like the, the floating island vibe, everything about this is just incredible in my opinion. And uh, yeah, again, this is another one that could end up being a day one must buy for me. I just... If this is what Ninjago is going to put out, last year's Underwater Wave, I was really disappointed. I was expecting a, you know, Atlantis-style sub-theme, and it ended up not really being like that at all, but these sets are fantastic, and Ninjago should do more like this. So then we have the Nia's Samurai X Mech. Now, this set is 1,003 pieces. It's the largest of the wave, and it is going to be $120, so not the most expensive of the wave. And, uh, you know, I just, I've never been a mech guy, and so this, as far as mechs go, is really cool. There are a ton of minifigures in here, uh, a whole bunch of varying different, like, like it looks like we have a serpentine figure that is... Uh, 
got that's like crystallized. I don't know. We've got, uh, you know, Sensei Wu in here. So a really nice minifigure assortment that is beyond just the regular ninjas, which I think is awesome. I'm kind of interested about this season storyline. And like I said, as far as mech builds go, I think this looks good. It doesn't look like it's a thousand pieces to me, but I think when I see the smaller build down here, uh, it, it definitely is. Uh, the color scheme here is great. Uh, this is, like I said, one of the nicer mechs I think Ninjago has done, certainly in a long time. I'm just not a mech person, so this one is uh, undoubtedly a bit of a pass for me, but nevertheless, still a very nice looking set. Then there's also some other lower quality images here. Uh, we have the Jay's Golden Dragon motorbike. Now this is going to be a $20 set, and uh, it's gonna have 137 pieces. And from what I can tell, this is actually quite a fun bike build as well. Just two minifigures in here, but I just, I love all the gold pieces. We're getting so many gold pieces in this wave. And uh, we get the, the winged figure as well for, for Jay. And overall, you get the little blue accents in there. As far as Lego Ninjago motorbikes go, again, like the theme of this wave, it's up there's one of my more liked motorbikes. Then we also have the Crystal King set. This is around 600 pieces and uh, 70 bucks, if I recall correctly. And I'm not a mech fan. I've said that already, but it looks decent. Uh, I actually prefer this to the Nia mech. I love like the crystal chest piece and the rib cages. And so as far as mech style sets go, this is one of my favorites period uh five minifigures in this one he's also got three legs as well it's a cool build it's a very cool build uh, i think it looks quite unique and the color scheme here with the black the gold and the crystals the purple crystals look very very good it's a very sharp style i can see this set in particular doing very very well even though it's not for me if i were to ever buy a mech it would have to be something like this or like a transformers set maybe those are the types of sets that i'd actually be willing to cave on and this is certainly close to that for me again looks quite nice then we also have Kai's Golden Dragon Racer, 624 pieces. And this is also a very, very nice set. I like the gold again. We've got the red mixed in there for Kai. We've got seven minifigures, which is a lot. And another really cool, unique Ninjago vehicle build. Not one that I'm going to buy. One of the more unique Ninjago vehicles I've seen to date. And as with the rest of this line, the minifigures here are fantastic. And so again, a lot to like about these sets. I feel like I'm kind of brushing over some of this a little bit, but they're a little lower quality images. So it's hard for me to kind of pick on some of the finer details to tell you what I really love about them. But the overall style and aesthetic here, I'm a big fan of. So even though this is again, a set that I would pass up more than likely, uh, the color, the dimensions, just the whole style of these builds are really, really great. I love the side detailing here. Uh, and I love how the the front is kind of like almost two separate wheel arms and then you have this real cool back spiky engine area. It all looks very, very good, but I don't have much more else to say on these. Then finally here, we have a, fortunately a rather low quality image of the Lloyd's Golden Dragon. And this is the uh, most expensive set in the wave at $140, but it's a little under a thousand pieces. Again, lots of minifigures down here. This is nine by my count, so they're probably using that to help justify the higher price point here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, honestly, exactly what's going on from this image, but uh, creature and mech builds, not my favorites. And so again, this being a dragon build is not my favorite, but it's got like four heads that I can see, which is definitely cool. Uh, and an abundance of gold pieces as well, which is really nice. There's not really any side builds other than this small shrine looking build over at the top here. So it'd be nice to get kind of more side builds. Uh, this one just feels a little bit too chaotic in my opinion, but again, uh, is much nicer than the the previous several waves that I, I think it's much nicer than most of the sets from the previous few Ninjago waves, even though it's not my favorite in this current wave. So overall, those are the four sets that we have had revealed so far, and I think they look 
absolutely amazing. Uh, not all of them are my cup of tea, but all in all, this is shaping up to be a very, very promising Ninjago wave. And in particular, the Crystal King Temple is, is one of the most unique Legos builds I've, I have ever seen, frankly. So those are my thoughts on this upcoming Summer Ninjago Wave or what we have seen of it so far. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of these sets. As always, I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say about them. If you like them, if you don't, let me know. However, if you like the video, you should click the like button. It is a great way for you to show your support to me to make keep making these videos. And uh, check out the channel. Check out the videos. If you see something you like, subscribe so that you can be notified as soon as my videos come out. There's going to be more LEGO news pumping out tonight. So if that interests you, go subscribe. Check it out. Be notified as LEGO news comes out right away. With all that said, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I will see you all in the next one.